Next news um, is out of Jerusalem. Israeli or ultra-Orthodox protesters flee after counter-protesters strip down to bras. Hundreds of ultra-Orthodox Jews clashed with police in Jerusalem over the weekend in protest of the Eurovision Song Contest final, which was held on Shabbat. The impassioned crowd blocked the street and stopped traffic on Saturday, the Times of Israel reported. Protesters attacked officers responding to the demonstration, and one was arrested. The protesters shouting Shabbos in Yiddish claimed the scheduling of the international contest was a desecration to the Jewish, Jewish Day of Rest. A small group of women held a counter-protest by taking off their shirts, revealing their bras, and causing the protesters to go elsewhere. Orthodox Jews live by strict modesty codes and are forbidden from looking on immodesty, immodestly dressed women. So yeah, all of this was over uh, the Eurovision Song Contest final. It's a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is great. I wish it worked on all uh, ultra orthodox Jews. I know. Oh, we got another super chat, Armin. Oh, thank you, the ex Hindu atheist. Oh, I love that you're calling yourself the ex Hindu atheist rather than Hindu atheist. A Hindu atheist is bullshit. Ex Hindu atheist, perfect. Thank you. Uh, what's the left to say? Um, sorry, the super chat. The super chat says, um, "I hate privileged people in India." Uh, pretend caste system doesn't exist anymore or blame it on the uneducated win of uh, BJP has fanned it even more. Yeah, and um, ex Hindu atheists, we're going to be covering India a lot more uh, given what's happening in India. Um, so, okay, so, but here's the thing that with regards to the news, the old, and again, thank you for the super chat. Um, you know, I wish this worked everywhere. Um, with all religious people, you know how this is a very non-violent way of countering religious people, but it doesn't work with everybody. Like if you if you tried this against like um, Islamic fundamentalist protesters, they will you will that would not be a very safe um, environment. Somebody just asked, "Can boobs defeat Islam too?" No, no. These women, <laughs> if these were Islamic protesters and these women showed up like this. Then we sh then you should have an ambulance. You should be calling an ambulance or something. This would be this would be insane. But but I know these women know that this it works on these men. And I think these now that we know their weakness, at least these ultra orthodox protesters now it should be used against them all the time. In fact, go to their neighborhoods like this. You know they can't. <laughs> you know yeah. You know I went to Israel. I went to their. I actually, there needs to be an invasion of their neighborhoods like this now because this is not against the law. They're, they haven't even taken off their, their bra, right? I think right. the secular women of Israel should go invade the ultra orthodox neighborhoods just just like this, just march in like this and take over because they are these are the most re regressive anti woman anti um, you know LGBT rights you know community in Israel. And you should just march in there like this and just be like, what? But what's wrong? Like, we're not breaking the law. I think it should. I, should. I think there should be a march of women into their neighborhoods. That would be amazing. Just take over and make demands. Make demands say, like, we want your, uh, you, your women don't have access to proper education. We, we ha uh, if you want us out, out of here, we want these kind of, these are our demands, right? And there's nothing illegal about this because in Israel because they haven't taken off in their bras. Where was this again? Um, this was, oh, this was in Jerusalem. Yeah, Havenheim Street. Wow, this is amazing. It's not even until, like, it's not even until, these women have, you know, are very brave because Jerusalem is they are. Very, a lot more religious than Tel Aviv, right? Each just said the big the bikini brigade fighting intolerance. Sorry, yeah. it was hilarious. Just imagining. Uh, by the way, this was what was the origin. So the the ultra orthodox protesters, they were protesting for what reason? And this was the the women are the counter protesters, right? Yeah, they're they're counter protesters. They well, the, the ultra orthodox Jews took over an entire street. So I think it was just making a lot of people upset. The police were already involved, couldn't get them to leave. So these women were like, we'll get them to leave. Um, <laughs> like, but they're, they're... Step aside, police. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. we'll, we'll, we'll have this covered. Here. We'll, yeah. um, they, they were upset because the Eurovision Song Contest final mm. was being held on their holy day of rest. 
Okay, so here's a question, and I know the answer already. Was, was this protest on Sabbath itself? You know, I don't know. I, I, and I think, I think it was. And some people might ask, then why, how is it protesting work? Like, how are they protesting on Sabbath? I feel Sabbath? like protesting work. But, I, but if, that, if they are protesting, and if, if they were protesting on Sabbath, I don't think that's against the rules. Because it's, there are very specific things that are considered, quote unquote, work that you're not, you can't do, right? Like they have, they have like written on this a lot. Like you can't, uh, you can wipe your ass, but you can't tear the tissue. Yeah. You, you pre tear them and have it ready for Sabbath, right? Oh, you wow. You, you can pre cook your food. Uh, because you can't, you, no electricity is allowed, right? You can't turn on the lights, so lights are pre-turned on. Some people leave the, if they want to warm something, they pre, they leave the oven on. You can't even press the, uh, you know, the button on the light for the for the street light to change to cross the street. Um, wow. Yeah, when I was in Jerusalem on Sabbath, we were recording the wall, the Western Wall and some lady came out at us and she was really angry because electronic is like kind of like fire. So you can't have electronics running. So, but there are certain things, but they were dancing and singing. So apparently that's allowed. So that's not work. Like there are a lot of things that you think it's work, but they don't define it as work. But they're, you know, they look at the Talmud and they, based on what, for example, if if light, if lighting fire is work, then they think well logically electricity should also be considered work, right? So, but protesting I think is not considered work, which is weird. Uh, anyways, let's see what the top comment is. Rob is saying brilliant, half naked woman, the answer to almost everything. Uh, if not, brings a smile on my face. Okay, I think you have girl power. I think Rob has a different agenda here for why he's. <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.